Welcome to dealing with materials data. In this course, uh, we look at collection analysis and interpretation of uh, data from material science and engineering. We are specifically looking at uh, probability distributions and we have looked at several discrete and uh, continuous probability distributions. We are continuing with uh, continuous probability distributions. And uh, one of the important distributions which is uh, important for in material science engineering is called uh, Lorentz distribution or Cauchy distribution. Lorentz or Cauchy distribution uh, has two parameters. There is a peak position or uh, mean which is given by mu and there is a width w. And the probability distribution function is given uh, by uh, this. So, 1 by pi w, 1 by beta x and 1 plus x minus mu by w whole squared whole inverse. At x is uh, mu plus or minus uh, w, the function is half its maximum height. So, that is the full width at half maximum is uh, 2w. Uh, from this uh, terminology, peak position, width and full width at half maximum, etc., you might have guessed that it is important uh, in spectroscopy measurements. Uh, and also, when you do Rietveld refinement of uh, X-ray peak profiles, for example, it is not uncommon to see a combination of Gaussian and Lorentzian to fit the peak profiles. So, that is the reason why this is a very important uh, distribution and uh, you can uh, use uh, Cauchy, D Cauchy, P Cauchy, Q Cauchy, R Cauchy uh, in R to get the probability distribution function, cumulative distribution function, quantile function and random deviates and uh, we will generate uh, um, plots for the Cauchy distribution uh, with the mean position at 25 and uh, the width of uh, 1 for example and as usual we will plot and see uh, what happens. So, so we are going to generate 3 plots. The first one is the probability distribution function, the second one is the cumulative distribution function and the third one is a quantile plot. And in all cases, we are going to use a, a mean of 25 and width of 1. And so, this is how the uh, Cauchy distribution function looks. So, it must remind you of the uh, spectroscopy or X-ray diffraction uh, peaks that you typically tend to see. Uh, of course, we can just plot the probability distribution function to see this better. And so, here is the uh, plot. So, it looks very familiar I am sure uh, because it looks like the uh, peaks that you would see in some of these uh, experiments. And of course, uh, let us generate uh, some random deviates and plot the histogram that should also look very similar to this. And, uh, and so, here you can see um, maybe we should generate more deviates. Um, to, yeah. so, so, you can see or, or maybe we should need the more um, Okay. So, you can now very clearly see uh, the peak and it is at 25, it is expected at 25. So, so you can, okay. so let us make, okay. so, so you can see that uh, the, the, the data does follow uh, nice uh, Cauchy distribution function. And there is one more exercise let us do. So, how different is this uh, distribution from um, normal distribution? So, we are going to do that. So, 
So, let us understand what this um, script is doing. So, we take data points from 15 to 35 and uh, we generate uh, random deviates and we plot the data, but we normalize the, the data so that uh, the maximum will be 1 and that is what is done here. So, random deviates and the probability distribution function using those random deviates after sorting so that when you plot it will give you a nice line and we plot it with a red line. <coughs> and then we also generate random deviates from the, um, uh, the, the probability distribution from the Cauchy distribution and notice that the normal and the Cauchy has the same mean and uh, here it is the standard deviation, here it is the width. Here again the Cauchy data is also normalized uh, so that it will also peak at uh, value of 1 and we are going to plot both. This is just to show you the deviation of Cauchy distribution from Gaussian. Like I mentioned in Rietveld analysis, uh, it is uh, a combination of both which is used to describe the X-ray peaks. So, it is a good idea to know how different uh, they are from each other. So, we will plot it and see. So, you can see uh, the red line is the normal distribution. So, that is what uh, y is uh, from the normal distribution. And uh, so, away from the peak, uh, the Cauchy still has some tail compared to the normal. Near the peak, Cauchy is uh, much more um, narrower than normal. So, this is the difference between the two. So, typical X-ray peak profiles are best described by a combination of two. Um, there are other functions also that is used in RE12 for uh, um, refining the fitting of the peaks, uh, but it is uh, very common to see a combination of normal uh, and Cauchy to fit. So, it is a good idea to know how they look and that is what uh, we have done. So, so, to conclude, um, Lorentz or Cauchy distribution is one of the common distributions. Uh, it is very important in material science engineering because uh, many uh, experiments, uh, spectroscopy experiments and uh, like X-ray diffraction and uh, such diffraction experiments, uh, the peaks that if you want to fit, then Lorentz or Cauchy distribution is uh, one of the important uh, distributions that describe the uh, the shape of these uh, peaks. So, so we have learnt how to use R to generate random deviates as well as uh, plot the probability distribution, cumulative distribution function and quantile functions as usual. So, the, the distribution is called Cauchy, it is not called Lorentz uh, in R. So, that is uh, just a technical point that you have to uh, remember. Thank you.